So I'd also like to talk about the content for poster 5080, which presents the long-term efficacy and safety results of the phase 1B study of the combination of exitinib and pembrolizumab in patients with advanced kidney cancer. This study accrued 52 patients between September 2014 and October 2015. The primary analysis used the data cutoff of March 31st, 2017 and showed an objective response rate of 73% and a median PFS of 20.9 months and a median duration of response of 18.6 months. The median overall survival was not reached at the time of that initial presentation with results that were published in Lancet Oncology in February of 2018. And these results inform the design of the Keynote 426 study, a randomized phase three trial of XE, Pembro versus Sunitinib that led to the FDA approval of this regimen in 2019. The current poster updates the data from the phase 1B trial through early 2020 in this group of patients, which were relatively enriched for those with an IMDC favorable risk, comprising 46% of the study population. At a median follow-up of nearly five years, 73% of patients remained alive. The median overall survival was not reached for the favorable risk patients and was 43 months for the intermediate and poor risk population. Of the 38 patients alive, 30 were previous responders and 11 or 29% were still on treatment. The median duration of response was 22 months. The median PFS had increased to 23.5 months and 37% of patients remained progression free at nearly 32 months. Further, there were no new safety signals observed. So in summary, after almost five years of follow-up, the combination of exitinib and pembrolizumab continued to demonstrate substantial and I would think remarkable clinical benefit in patients with advanced clear cell kidney cancer, hopefully pretending its long-term efficacy in clinical practice.